Santa Fe police confirmed Alex Baldwin discharged a prop gun on the set of his new film Rust, fatally killing cinematographer Hina Hutchins. Here are five things about the talented DP who sadly lost her life. Tragedy struck Hollywood on Thursday, October 21 when actor Alec Baldwin, 63, discharged a prop gun that fatally killed a crew member on his new film Rust. Director of photography Hina Hutchins died after the on-set incident while director Joel Souza, 42 was injured, Santa Fe police confirmed to deadline. Per the outlet, Baldwin was unaware of the type of ammunition in the gun which ultimately lead to the fateful accident. Police have confirmed the report, although the investigation into the incident is still ongoing. Hollywood Life has reached out to Alex Rep for comment, but we did not yet receive a response. Baldwin stars in the film, a western set in 1880s Kansas, and it's written and directed by Sousa. Hutchins, a talented DP in the industry, was leading the visuals for the project. Here are five things about the cinematographer who tragically lost her life. Heine was a Los Angeles-based cinematographer. On her official website's About section, Heine described herself as a Los Angeles-based union cinematographer. She also graduated from the AFI Conservatory in 2015 and had since worked on a series of narrative shorts and features. The 42-year-old was also one of the eight female cinematographers for the 21st Century Fox DP Lab and was featured as one of the film industry's rising stars of cinematography 2019 in American Cinematographer. Speaking of her time at AFI, Heine told the magazine that it made her rethink who she was as an artist and how she wanted to work in the industry. One thing I learned is that cinematography is not something you do by yourself. It's a group, project. You need to develop your own vision, but the key to a successful film is communication with your director and your team. Helena was born in Ukraine and spoke both Russian and English. Heine describes herself as originally hailing from Ukraine and then growing up on a Soviet military base in the Arctic Circle, what a unique locale. The late artist also shared that she had a graduate degree in journalism from Kiev National University in Ukraine and previously dabbled in investigative journalism with British documentary productions in Europe before settling into cinematography. She also spoke both Russian and English, setting her apart for work in the States. Taking whatever production assistant jobs she could in America. Heine also shared with American cinematographer that she worked in fashion photography as well to learn the aesthetics of lighting, how you create the mood, the feeling. Related Gallery Alec Baldwin, Picks She worked on numerous artistic shorts and features. Across Heine's Instagram and website reels are numerous stills and clips from short films and features she's worked on, ranging in genre and aesthetics. Since finishing her graduate work at AFI in 2015, she completed two features, Snowbound in Colorado and Darling. Right now, I'm just really interested in finding fruitful collaborations, she told American Cinematographer regarding her quest for continued experience. To me, it's the collaborative effort between creative minds that elevate each other's work. She added, I'm just hoping to find my Wong Kar Wai, citing her inspiration from the renowned Hong Kong director who specializes in bold, immersive, atmospheric works.
her work received critical acclaim. It's no surprise Heine was employed for a major feature starring an A-lister like Baldwin, considering her breadth of work she obtained over the years. In a post from October 2020, the DP shared a poster from a film she photographed, Sunday's Child, which was accepted to a few film festivals while the horror feature, Darlin, premiered at the South by Southwest Film Festival in 2019. The film, directed by Pollyanna McIntosh, The Walking Dead, also played internationally at the Edinburgh Film Festival, Fantasia, London Fright Fest, and more. She stood in solidarity with the IATSE Union. In some of Heine's last posts on Instagram, she shared photos from the New Mexico desert on the set of Rust. One of the shots, perhaps the most touching, was a large group pic of the film cast and crew as Heine shouted out the IATSE, or the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees Union. Standing in hashtag I solidarity with our Adiazzi crew here in New Mexico on Rust, Heine wrote in the caption, reposting from another person working on the production. The historic strike, which honors the needs of the tireless workers in the industry who mostly operate behind the scenes, is still putting pressure on Hollywood to negotiate better working conditions and better pay. Although we're heartbroken by the tragedy of Heine's passing, her final days of living her passion and supporting her fellow artists to live their dreams with dignity and purpose is something to be acknowledged and remembered.